everyone, I'm Dr. Mansi and today I'm going to show you the unboxing and assembling of ATH eConnect S Endomotor, which is marketed in India by Oricum Healthcare Private Limited. So this motor comes in a big white box with the eConnect S label on it. Let's unbox it. Inside the box, you will find an eConnect S user manual in which you can find about all the entire parts and the functioning of the motor. Next, it comes with a quality certification card and a warranty card. Let's look at the parts of the motor. First part that I would like to show you is the handpiece, motor handpiece. In this you will find four buttons. One is the power button, system button and an up and down arrow button for the changing of the features. Next is the charging base with an ATH logo on it. Next it comes with a measuring wire. In this measuring wire, you will find two sockets. One is for the file clip and another is for the lip hook and an adapter. This adapter goes into the motor at this part. After adapting it, you can use this motor, motor's epic locator in an integrated man manner or in a separate epic locator type. Next, it comes with a charging adapter with the charging plug in it, which is attached like this. It also comes with an insulating sleeve. Here is the contra-angle handpiece of the motor which is to be attached into the handpiece of the motor. It also comes with the oil spray nozzle. As you can see. It also comes with two file clips and two lip hooks. Now let's look at how to assemble the motor. For attaching the contra-angle handpiece, just check all the pins into the socket and attach it properly just like this in this handpiece you will also find an e-connect test label and a product number for charging the endomotor you need to put the charging adapter wire into the charging socket just like this and then you are going to plug it into an AC AC voltage for the apex locator thing Please always remember that for an apex locator you always need to insulate, insulate the handpiece with an insulating sleeve otherwise you won't get proper readings. Now this socket will go into the endomotors and then you can attach the file clips and the lip hooks. In my next video I will demonstrate all the features of the endomotor and I am going to review it. Thank you.